Rebels here tonight as Drew McDaniel, the talented sophomore, makes his first collegiate start. Uh, sophomore out of Lafayette, Louisiana, was one of the top prospects coming out of the state, but didn't get a full slate of action last year due to the COVID shortening of the twice about it. This time, McDaniels gets the best of them to get out of the inning. A strikeout for McDaniels. He's a talented Ole Miss lineup today. How should he attack it, Matt? It's going to be a challenge. I mean, these Ole Miss hitters were locked in over the weekend, but what you're going to see out of Jumper is a high three-quarter arm slot, which is going to give that fastball a lot of run and a lot of life. See how Jumper attacks these Ole Miss hitters, and most likely he's going to play the role of an opener for Arkansas State today. Yeah. Yeah. Offering here to Justin Bench. Three balls, two strikes. And Jumper starts off his afternoon with a strikeout of the Rebel leadoff hitter, Justin Bench. Wings in the Rebel lineup. See it right there as he ropes one right back up the middle. The first hit of the afternoon belongs to Kevin Graham. Skips in the dirt, ball four. Elko is aboard with two outs. As. Reaches out to get this one, but the shortstop shifted on. It'll be a bobbled ball. Gets into the outfield. One run will score for Ole Miss as they take a 1-0 lead here in the first. To be a big time piece of their lineup this year. This one on a rope to right center field. Great job by the veteran center fielder Tipton to get over there to make the grab for the third out. One of the concourse and on the field. And Daniel kicks, fires home. Swung on, strikeout number three for Drew McDaniel. Good at bat there from Baker, the first of his 2021 season. He'll draw a walk. Timely hit. Also, always feels to be a magnet. Turners right away, but he's got a tremendous swing, great mechanics. And a really easy four-pitch walk there. Loads up the bases for Kevin Graham. Was swinging for it all. This one hit to shallow right field. Coming on was Duncan to make the grab. Outside corner. Drew McDaniel is pumped up for that call as he paints the edge for his fourth strikeout of the game. That's when you know you got the hitters guessing. Another strikeout, five through three for the sophomore, right? For his size over there at third base. Elko stares at a called third strike. Otherwood at 143 this season. That'll increase with a line shot to left. Drops out in front of the Shazer, so a two out base not. Gets a hold of this one, a fly ball to left field. Welcome back, Kale Baker. A two run shot here in the third inning. It just hammers it over the left field ball. That ball was up in the zone by Hudson. Baker doesn't try to do too much, just puts the barrel right on it, drives it right out of here, and the two-out magic continues. Zap back. Ball comes inside and catches him on the shoulder. Barrel in the zone and hit the other way will do it just enough. Another one hit in the air by McCants. This one doesn't look like it's going to leave the dirt. As Hager tries to get under it, tails away from it at the last second. Runner coming home is LaPasse, or McCants is going to be thrown out at third base, but Ole Miss is able to tag on an extra run on the play. Deliver in the zone. Left this one over the plate. It's a fly ball to center field. It's carrying. It is gone. Liam Hicks, the veteran, starting a catcher today and making Drew McDaniel pay for leaving that one over the heart of the plate. Over the plate, and Hicks just takes it the other way, doesn't try to pull it. Tries to stay in the gaps. Is able to get. So Klutz remains in the batter's box for A State. This time, there's no doubt about it. McDaniel's blows by him for a strikeout. Fellow champions. McDaniel gets him again here. Second time, Duncan's gone down on strikes. Another strikeout. After the solo shot, it's McDaniel striking out the side. Ground ball. It'll be a tough play for the short. Stop, Gish to make, fires it in. I thought it went into the stands, hit off the wall. Gonzalez will end up at second. Ground ball hit the other way. Gish can't come up with it. Skirts out of the outfield. Gonzalez will score easily. Kevin Graham coming through for the Rebels. He's going to send one right back up the gut. One runner being waved home for Ole Miss, and they'll tack on another 6-1 Rebels. Take even on a ball like that. 
Another chance for Gish. He'll step on the bag, turn it over to first. So the world, excuse me, there will be a double play. Pieces that could be in the mix for that spot. Excellent piece of hitting here, though, from Skyler Culver. Turns on one, puts it in the corner in right field, and he'll have a leadoff double. The board, the lefty fires. Check swing goes, he's tagged out. Back into a good count as Tipton takes off. Tough play for Gonzalez, fires over to first, and he shows you what makes him so special at the position. Tremendous hitter, and he has unbelievable power. One of those guys that has line drive power, but light tower power as the OSEC oh, player of the week offensively. That's a great rip to right field for McCanson. He's showing off the wheels as well. Laposser being held up at third with one out. And there's TJ McCants. First career hit is Noel Miss Rebel. It's a double. One to handle. He sure does. There goes Justin Bench right back up the middle. Two runs are going to score for Ole Miss as they increase their lead. 8-1 Rebels here in the fifth inning. Oh, hit and run. Nice piece of hitting. Beautifully executed there by Jacob Gonzalez. Bench all the way over to third. Kevin Graham sits back on a pitch, hits it out to center field. Tipton's going to make the grab, but this will bring Bench home. The second RBI of the evening for Kevin Graham. All bad fires. Dunhurst puts it in the air. DeShazer coming on. Gish moving backwards. It'll be DeShazer making the grab. That'll be the third out of the inning. It's not something I could pull off either. Kimbrell freezes him. Strike out to end the inning. Does he get a race for saying that? Can I get some <laughs> talk back in my ear? Wait, we get paid for this? <laughs> Called strike three on the outside corner. Great job by Algie in his collegiate debut. And he's... Called strike three, the first batter that Adcock faces. Opportunity to keep guys fresh, though. You know, there was a big situation to see another nasty 91 mile an hour foul. Tipped in his hands, see if he goes out of the breaking ball. Cody Adcock, welcome to Division I baseball. Strike. Bowl round, Swayze, even in limited crowd, just how excited everybody are as we see McCants drive one down the right field line. Oh, you hinted at it for, for a lot of these freshmen, and it, just a filthy pitch on the outside corner from Gilmer can believe he is presenting with every pitch. He takes his anger out with that fastball right. Biological information there is his brother. Same results for Wes Burton. Another strikeout to get out of the inning. Kevin Graham stays hot. Here's the 2 one offering in to Calvin Harris. High hopper to the right side, gloved by Hicks, who moves from behind the plate to second base. He throws over to first for the out, but that will bring Kevin Graham home. So Plumlee in the plate. First pitch swinging. John Rice Plumlee mashes one over the left center field wall. His first career home run, and boy, was it a monster shot. Bat flip knew exactly where that ball was going when he hit it. And a great reaction there from his team. Great pitch there by Bryant. We see him third out of the inning. And does it with some filth. Sits McCants down. Two strikeouts there for Bryant to get out of the inning. A little down. You see Myers over there working to get back healthy. It picks you up a little bit. Liam Hicks, who has a home run in this game. Blast one off the right field wall. A leadoff double for Arkansas State. In the past, again, just adding on to what is already a really elite bullpen. Back-to-back -back K's for Myers. Your business is when you're the number one team. That's what they've done tonight. Welcome back, Tyler Myers. 18 strikeouts for the Rebel Arms in this game as Ole Miss wins a 20th straight contest.